Sup, fam? It's Sarah with another Water Garden Wednesday. Today we are winterizing our shop pond. There's Cassie there yanking out our plants for the winter. You want to make sure you get those pulled out so that they do not become a bunch of waste in your pond for the spring. In the meantime, Sandy's throwing in our aerator and de-icer. Those are going to keep a nice hole in the ice so that the fishies can take a little nap for the next couple of months. Then they're going to winterize our pond and pump by pulling it out and getting it in a bucket of water to be stored inside for the winter. Like to give the motors a little bit of a break so that they don't just uh, run 365 24-7 and you get a pump that lasts a little bit longer. Next, we're going to take our 14 by 20 pond netting and stretch that over top of the entire pond. We do have some goldfish and koi in there, so the netting is going to give the uh, nice layer of protection that the fish are going to need from predators. Also, is going to help keep a lot of leaves and debris out of the pond. And we're going to stake that down using a combination of the stakes that were provided with the net and the stone that we already have around the pond, so we make sure that that gets nice and tight. Now, looks like this pond is all closed up for the winter, and we will see this one again back in the spring. Make sure that you hit those like and follow buttons and join us next week when we do some aerator maintenance and show you how to replace a diaphragm kit on one of our most common aerators. See you next time.